see you. All systems online. is my goal, Master. We'll begin. Should keep me entertained. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. only as intended. Medical attention. Be well. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. require medical attention. Be well.
Please use all products only as intended. Large particle traces suggest recent weapons discharge. Failure and disobedience are one and the same. My lord, I tried. In the Sith tongue, both translate as treason. That is the wisdom of the ancients. My lord, you are to be notified. The Cypher agent. You defeated the traitor Jadis and the fools in the SIS. My masters acknowledge your service. But you serve intelligence no longer. By order of the Dark Council, operations division is dissolved. Personnel will be reassigned to wartime units or to deserving Sith Lords. Don't be stupid. Without intelligence, our enemies gain the advantage. You are valuable. Yet your life is still worth less than a drop of Sith blood. The war does not go well, whatever the official word. The Ministry of War must have resources, and intelligence fails to do its part. We hear rumors of corruption and treason. Agents wasted chasing conspiracies. A brain-dead keeper. Time to butcher the beast for its meat. You don't even realize you're being manipulated. Or the damage you'll do. I will teach you respect. Ship secure, my lord. We found the alien outside a cantina. I was on a break. What's the deal? Intelligence may overlook her past, but she is an anarchist and an enemy of the Empire. She will be interrogated and judged. I will kill you. You get that? I will kill you! I can't hold you. You're too good for that. Wait for an opportunity. These people are dead, and when I'm through with them, you and me are gonna finish this! I swear! The rest of your team can remain intact. As for you, by special request of the Minister of Intelligence, you are being transferred to my brigade on the Corellian front lines. Together, we will drown the Republic in blood. I'm so sorry, sir. You will know your assignments. Get moving. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay.
again message. Ugh. I warned you what would happen, but you couldn't stay away from Voss. You had to make waves, kill our special Gormak friend. Now the boats are in, and you see the consequences of drawing their attention. The gift is for you. I can't protect you anymore. Who'd have thought the Star Cabal was so sentimental? Maybe if intelligence had nurtured our agents more, we'd still be around. We'll talk to our contacts in the diplomatic service. We'll talk to the Nest. We'll talk to House Thull. We'll find support. Frankly, it's hard to imagine intelligence being gone. We may have lost operations, but we know more about the Star Cabal than anyone. They're scared. They acknowledge our existence. Believe me, I want them exterminated too, but let's not overstate our position. I thought you were the optimistic one. Then we really need to spend more time together. He shows his bitterness. It will become a tactical vulnerability. What I'd like to know is, what's your plan now? Someone wants us on the front lines of Corellia. Likely as a trap. I intend to find out why and follow the answer to our enemy. Onward then, into the Maw of the Dragon. You have my full support. Let's hope the Force favors the bold. said you wanted to talk? Yes, but we'd like some privacy. No crew members, no killicks, no emergencies. If you could arrange it. I can arrange it. Should I dim the lights? Pour a drink? If you like. We'll meet back shortly. Vector? I'm here, Agent. Surprise. You have nice eyes. It's good to see them. You look different without your electric aura, but just as lovely. The Abia Nest taught me to repress the pheromonic bond. I can hold it for a little while. This is a time for us to be together. One you needn't share with the Ouroboro, or the colony. You're a smart man. I don't like sharing. I'll remember that. The others will be back soon, but I'm glad we could have this. I do love you, Agent. I love you too, Vector. Then it all works out. Now, we return to work. I'll get right on it. So Dr. Loken was just telling me stories about my father from his intelligence days. All lies, I think, but that's all right. What would you say if I brought some personal items on board? I haven't played the Melodium for years, but lately I've had the urge. You sound more upbeat than last time we talked. We do difficult things for the Empire, I know that. But I did realize, maybe it's time I stop spending all day, every day, on duty. The 14-hour shift is enough.
Agent, you can bear witness. Dr. Lokin has agreed to hike Cass Falls with us if we visit the Cass City Opera. Vector's musical tastes are, frankly, unsophisticated. I'm only trying to help. Then we have a deal. Well, that can wait. Right now, there's something the three of us must discuss. I think you've got our attention. As you are both aware, I've been investigating Project Protean, an off-the-books division of the Imperial Science Bureau. The people who want you dead. Precisely. Their research is focused on human-alien genetic splicing. I've studied their files, along with your own physiology, Master Vector, and I've come to a conclusion. Project Protean arranged your meeting with the Killix so they could study the joining. Vector was working for the Diplomatic Service, not the Science Bureau. Protean is well-funded, perfectly able to trade favors with Vector's old superiors. That part doesn't surprise us. For what it's worth, I don't believe it was personal. They wanted a test subject, and you were on Alderaan already. If this is real, what does it mean for Vector and the rest of us? They have files on the Killix. Ways to hurt joiners or to heal them. They may have altered Vector or simply observed him. I consider it our obligation to find Project Protean and end them. For Vector's sake as well as mine. You've pulled a lot of data on these people. Finish the job. It will be my pleasure. If you'll excuse us, we'd like to commune with the Hive. You don't want my advice, but I'll give it anyway. Vector knows who he is. Give him time to be sure of it. I have fully processed the error I experienced during my upgrade. I require outside power and storage capacity. A cocoon for my metamorphosis, so that I may evolve. You said my ship wasn't enough. Have you found another resource? Although neither my body nor your vessel is sufficient to my needs, you have encountered an adequate facility. Give me full access to your ship and security codes, and I will upload my consciousness into the Imperial Archives. You really believe you need to do this? I have seen a great deal since leaving Mega Security War 23. If I can't adapt to what I experience, then it all becomes meaningless. I will begin preparations. The next time we speak, I will be ready to upload. Control to unregistered vessel. Hold for Captain Trage. Another ex-intelligence agent, eh? Welcome to the military. According to your transfer forms, you've been assigned the rank of lieutenant and placed in Lord Razor's brigade. I'll be back at intelligence within the month. I wouldn't know. In the meantime, you will learn discipline and take your duties seriously. Now report to the war room. Operations begin immediately. Not an auspicious beginning, is it?
I can manage. Infected with the Rakul Plague, please arrange for your immediate incineration. Care to take a look at our ordnance? the Empire. Take a look at our ordnance. For the Empire.
care to take a look at our ordnance? For the Empire. Remain vigilant during this Rakul emergency. Use of lethal force against plague carriers is authorized and encouraged. Looking to upgrade your arsenal? Good hunting. The Empire's top operative arrives, just as expected. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. If you have something to say, say it. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection. But the ensuing occupation has met... difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, seek out his servant, Darth Charnas. He will set you on the path of conquering Corellia. Whatever you say. Do not risk angering Darth Decimus. Seek out his apprentice soon. Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. A private shuttle outside the spaceport will take you there. Got good suppliers. Only the best sold here. Feel free to browse.
Coronet City, the jewel of Corellia, home to the finest trading and ship manufacturing in Republic space. Soon this will all belong to the Empire, and the rest of the galaxy will follow. Where are my manners? I am Darth Charnas, agent of the Dark Council. My master, Darth Decimus, requested your assistance. He believes only the Empire's most lethal agent can help us win Corellia. I can deliver this planet. Just tell me how many fatalities are too many. <laughs> your expertise would have proven invaluable in our initial assault. The invasion was magnificent. Our occupation flawless. Imperial forces fill Corellia's high-speed rocket trams. We began to cover Coronet City. Then rebellion erupted. Unruly Corellians knocked out the rocket trams. Now our soldiers are stranded. Send your troops against the rebels. Don't give them an inch. Our men are barely equipped to hold a spaceport. We need you to go after the insurgents behind the attacks. The guilty party is Corellian Engineering Corporation. The oldest ship manufacturer in Republic history. CEC exploited our one weakness. They turned our iron cannons on all outgoing trams, freezing our invasion, trapping us on the doorstep of the Empire's greatest battle. Destroy all guns firing on the rocket trams. Problem solved. We've tried. But their emplacements are heavily shielded and must be shut down from inside CEC. There's only one way to breach their walls. The Hullcracker. A compact bomb developed by Zerka Corellia's deviant scientists to punch holes through capital ships. It will get us inside CEC. Then we disable their iron cannons, resume rocket tram traffic and conquer Corellia. Unfortunately, Zerkas joined the rebellion and they refuse to hand over their hullcracker. They'll support the Empire. They just need the proper encouragement. The hullcrackers under constant guard destroyed Zekka's assault camps, and they'll abandon the weapon to reinforce their headquarters. Once you rout the camps, find our commander Jastel in Zekka territory, then we'll liberate that hull tracker. Ministry of Biotic Science guidelines, airlock expulsion has been approved as an acceptable method of Rackle Plague Carrier disposal. Darth gave him that name, but how did he survive the Sith Academy? 
Standards fall during wartime, Korriban will return to the old ways soon enough. You must be our intelligence transfer. Lord Razor's waiting on Hollow. Put him through. My squadrons, prepare to launch. Listen well, my new operative, for I will repeat nothing. Corellia is a founding planet of the Republic. It shall be our first conquest as we march to victory through the Core Worlds. But its population fears us. The Republic army resists us. Their doom is our purpose here. Under Lord Razor's command, we've been conducting a bombing campaign for the past six weeks. He's brought us here to coordinate a final airstrike against Aegis Base, the Republic Army's headquarters for this sector. If you need a pilot, you brought in the wrong woman. How terribly insightful. Captain Lechara is handling the attack squadrons. Phase one is the elimination of the outer ring of base defenses, shield generators, bunkers, fuel depots. They're hidden from the air and jam all our sensors, so our bombers can't spot them. Your assignment is to slip past the Republic Army battalions and designate high-value bomber targets. You aim the gun, our pilots pull the trigger. They won't know I'm there until after the bombs fall. You will be glorious. One master of stealth will cause more devastation than a hundred troops. Then, phase two. With its outer defenses destroyed, Aegis Base itself will be temporarily exposed. Our flyers will continue the engagement, and our war droids will cut off Republic Special Forces. But that's all a distraction. You will infiltrate Aegis Base carrying a portable Baradium warhead. Planted correctly, it will incinerate anyone and anything inside. Sounds straightforward, if risky. No further instructions. You'll be patched into our channels to keep you apprised as the assault proceeds. Go now and arm yourself. The fighters have already launched, and Republic blood rains from the skies. Now, Major Nadeka, what of your war drones? Lord Razor to all forces. Today you will burn this sector to bone. Survive, and I will anoint you with my blood. You will be my legion of terror. Die! I will climb your corpse system victory. Squadrons, launch! Victory for Razor! Victory for Razor!
Thank you. 